What's up beauties? It's Brandy and I'm coming on today with an updated hair video for the Brazilian curly hair that I featured here not too long ago. You guys want to check out the first video that I did which was kind of like a first impression showing you the wig that I made, showing you the hair, what it looked like, giving you all the specs. All of that good stuff, I will leave the video right here. And then for those of you who are watching this via a smartphone or iPad, I'll leave the link in the description box for you guys to check that review out. But today's video is basically gonna be kind of like how I maintain my wig. I'm gonna show you guys the unit because last night I basically filmed how I go about washing it, the products that I use, and all of that. And today I'm just gonna show you exactly what it looks like after it's been air drying overnight. And as I said in the other video, the only con that I have kind of seen with this hair is the fact that it takes forever for this hair to dry. And I kind of knew that it would possibly be, you know, that type of thing because with my own natural hair, it takes a really long time for it to dry, especially the, depending on the products that you use on it. Briefly, I just want to talk to you guys about the products. They are very inexpensive. Well, with the exception of kind of one of them, I can't even remember how much this product was, but you don't exactly have to use these same products. I wanted to keep it more on the affordable side and products that you can actually find like in your local drugstores and in Walmart, Target, all of those kinds of places. So pretty much I try to wash my unit at least once a week and not go longer than kind of like two weeks. I don't wear it every single day so I feel like I can get away with not washing it as frequently as some other people do because I don't really wear this that often to work. I haven't had any trouble with matting or tangling and things like that it does get a bit it can get a bit frizzy depending on your wear of it and how much you're touching it can get really really big so if you're the type of person who wants it to always be tamed and curly you might want to wash your wig maybe twice a week maybe every two to three days but I would not suggest washing it or wetting it um, saturating it every single day because it definitely would not dry overnight if you saturate it every single day like I washed it yesterday morning and I'm telling you even last night it was a little bit wet and this morning I had to kind of flip it open and let it air dry a little bit more so it takes a really long time now I would suggest like if you want it to be tamed and you don't want to wash it as frequently or like twice a week then just to have kind of like a, a spray bottle or either some type of refresher spray and then on the parts that are really frizzy that you want to maintain or tame which it will be like the the outer part that most people see you can just lightly spritz that in the morning and then like comb through it with the Denman brush or just, or just finger comb it with your fingers and then it should pretty much air dry as you're fixing your makeup as you're on the way to work and all of that I have not shampooed my unit yet just because I am gonna basically treat this exactly like I do my own curly hair and I only shampoo my curly hair once a month so I have not worn this that long or this is actually just my second time co-washing this so I think after like three co-washes then the fourth time I will shampoo it because you don't want to put a whole lot of shampoo on curly hair because it will dry it out and you will have to deep condition it and all of that good stuff now when I co-wash it I don't follow up with the deep conditioner at all because I feel like the co-wash that I use it's like you're gonna freak out when I tell you how much this costs and how amazingly like well this really works and I'm gonna start back using this for my own natural hair too because I kind of fell off on it because I like to try out a lot of different products but this stuff is amazing and it is the VO5 Silky Experiences and the conditioner that I have is the Island Coconut and it's one of their moisturizing conditioners now they do have like several different types or categories of their conditioners and I've tried many of them I really love this one because it smells so good it smells like coconut it actually smells like real coconut to me and um, the texture of it it's not super super thick but it's not watery watery either it's kind of like a good balance in between where you can really coat your hair and this is also really great for deep conditioning you'll see in the video also that I use this just kind of like to wash over the unit one time and then rinse it out and then put some more back in and let it sit and kind of marinate and deep condition and all of that and then rinse it out with cool water so that's normally what I like to do this I believe was probably only like a dollar and something in CVS or Walgreens they have these pretty much everywhere especially at Walmart I know it's always really really super um, inexpensive and it works really really great it was super easy for me to detangle the hair with and all of that good stuff now after that I rinsed it out as I said with cold water and then kind of lightly 
towel dried it with my terry cloth terry cloth <laughs> tongue tied with my terry cloth um towel and then i proceeded to spray it with this leave-in conditioner and this is by allocate naturals it's their lemongrass grass <laughs> it's their lemon grass leave-in and you can find this at target now um i know when i first tried this out it could only be purchased online but they definitely have it at target now it is a little bit ex expensive on the expensive side i can't remember how much it is but i think it's over ten dollars but you can definitely try out some other ones at the store that are similar to this this is just what i had on hand and i wanted to kind of use it up because i don't use it as often as i should so i was like why not use it for this wig and it worked really really nice because it's super light you don't want to put a lot of product on this hair now if it's really really dry i would say that you could definitely leave a little bit of this vo5 conditioner in it like rinse as much of it out as you can and then like maybe leave maybe five to ten percent left in it as you're leaving and then follow up with a light leave-in spray and that would be really really great i don't use any type of styling product or gel on this hair because i really don't feel like you need it because the curls are really defined and i can go a really long time without having to rewash it or put extra product in it so i kind of like saturated i went ham on it with this because the product is so light and it has a really really nice scent to it too so i really love that about it and then after that i would comb through it with my demon brush of course just to clump the curls a little bit so what i'm going to do now is basically put the wig on my head show you guys how i go about doing that and in the first video you will see that i um talked about the fact how I did the fold over method, Ivy Powell's fold over method for the wig. So I never wear it without doing that. And hopefully it won't look too crazy because I have my hair like braided differently than I would normally wear it. Um, so yeah, you have the fold over here. This is where it starts and I have it folded over to kind of like my right side. So normally I could wear it without the closure and still kind of get away with wearing it as a fold over but i tend to like to wear it with scarves so that's how i'm going to wear it today i'm going to just throw it on and this is how it normally go about doing it and pull it back a little bit most of my scarves i tend to get them from like target or h&m just any stores nowadays have them and i will kind of do it off center just so I can do my little bow that I always do which I think is really really cute and girly <music> edges together but they are not right now but yeah I am just in love with this wig and as you see it's really really tamed right now but after rocking it for a few times it will fill out a little more I am loving loving this hair it has been treating me really well as I said and I am just going to continue on with this if you have any questions about something that I mentioned within this video or something else about this hair that I forgot to mention in this video then feel free to leave that in the comment section below also check out that description box because I always leave tons of information there. I will have um, the link to the previous video that I did about this hair in the description box and also the website and all of that other stuff that you need to know. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of like what my final video should be about because I am going to be coming on to do another final review probably like in a month or so after I've worn the wig a little bit more and I'm even more comfortable with it and just to give you guys an update on it and all of that good stuff so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and show your girl some love if you are not a subscriber then go ahead and click that subscribe button and until next time i will see all of you beauties later bye <laughs>